What is up, my son? Let's summarize my Android Nods UL for energy males. In this video, we're going to talk about boron and the effects on testosterone, DHT, free testosterone, and estrogen. So what you might not know is that boron can increase total testosterone as well, not just free testosterone. It's great for increasing DHT, and it has some interesting effects on estradiol that I would like to talk to you about. Let's dive in. Right, so this is the article that I wrote. If you want to check it out, get to the references, all the good stuff. Link will be the, in the description. Um, let's see. All right, so let's dive in. So boron on free testosterone. This is literally why most people use boron in the first place is because it increases free testosterone. Or it's been reported to increase free testosterone. So here was a seven-day study. They used 10 milligrams of boron and it nearly doubled their free testosterone. Here you can see it went from 9 to almost 16. So it went from 9... To 15. So it was, not, it was a really good boost that you can see there in free testosterone. And the free testosterone to testosterone ratio improved, meaning that they uh, the free testosterone went up more than the amount of total testosterone. So the amount of free testosterone went up was really good. So in terms of DHT, roughly 10% of free testosterone converts to DHT. So you ha if you have, so the more free T you have, the more can it be converted into DHT. So since boron increases NADPH, so NADPH is the cofactor for 5-alpha reductase, it should be able to stimulate DHT production as well in, by providing more free testosterone and the precursor for 5-alpha reductase. So here's what happened. They supplemented 10 milligrams of boron and it boosted their DHT from 66 to 79, right? And uh, despite having very high DHT, the testosterone was actually very low, which was quite interesting at 260, right? Those before, and then went up to 330 after the study. But anyway, let's look at the DHT. You can see DHT with a really high 66 to 79 had a really good effect on that. And also you can see the free testosterone to DHT ratio improved. So they had a greater increase in DHT than they did free testosterone. So that again, that's quite interesting. It stimulates 5-alpha reductase, and it's a good way to how to increase your DHT as well. So on total testosterone, not a lot of people know this, but boron can actually increase your total testosterone as well. There might be a variety of different mechanisms. It's perhaps not the strongest um, testosterone booster, but on average, it increased testosterone by about 60 nanograms per deciliter. And about 62.5% of the participants had a good boost. So you can see not everyone had a boost in testosterone, but a good amount had 62.5%. So this guy, this one guy had a nice boost going from almost 10 to, I would say, 17 that's a really good boost, a seven-point boost. And then other people did have a relatively meh, somewhat decent boost, right? So it can help to increase your testosterone as well. Then we have uh, boron on estradiol. So some people will say that don't use boron. It increases estrogen. It's highly estrogenic. Ah, ah, you know, don't use it. Anyway, here we can see that uh, 10 milligrams of boron for four weeks increased estradiol from 51 to 30, to 73. This is crazy. This is bonkers, guys. It increases estrogen. Don't use it. Right? But if you look at the actual numbers, it's like 14 picogram per milliliter going up to 20 picogram per milliliter. Right? So in my ideal reference range, ideal estrogen levels is between 20 and 25. Usually, if you see a compound that improves estrogen levels, it usually takes it between that range, between 20 and 25. So it boron increased testosterone from 14 to 20, basically at the bottom of that ideal range I was talking about. Well, bam, like that small boost, right? And then there was another study showing that 10 milligrams of boron for seven days lowered estradiol from 35 to 25. It lowered excess estradiol into the ideal range. It seems to have a modulatory effect. When it's too low, it increases. It's too high, it lowers it, right? So it's not that estrogen is... Horrible. Anyway, so we can see here that estrogen decreased, and then I want to look at the ratio. You can see. So the testosterone to estrogen ratio increased a lot. So testosterone went up, estrogen went down, the ratio improved. This is what we want, an optimal ratio. Free testosterone went up, DHT went up. So this means that people were more in an anabolic state, an androgenic, than an estrogenic state. Boron has a modulatory effect. And then boron has a bunch of other benefits as well. It can increase the growth and maintenance of bone as it helps with calcium and magnesium retention. Also, magnesium is extremely important for testosterone and ATP production as well. It greatly improves wound healing, 
if, uh, its beneficial impact on the body's use of estrogen, testosterone, vitamin D. It boosts magnesium absorption, again, as I mentioned above. It reduces levels of inflammation. Inflammation can lower your testosterone. It raises anti antioxidant enzymes such as superoxide dismutase, catalyze, glutathione peroxidase. It protects against pesticide-induced oxidative stress and heavy metal toxicity. It improves the brain's electrical activity, cognitive performance, and short-term memory in elders. It influences the information and activity of key biomolecules such as SAMe and NAD. It has uh, doc um, demonstrated preventative and therapeutic effects in number of cancers such as prostate, cervical, lung cancer, and multiple non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It might help ameliorate the adverse effects of traditional chemotherapy agents. It improves the joint discomfort, and it might help to increase your free T3 as well. So yeah, there you have it, right? It's not just good at increasing your free testosterone. It can actually also help to increase your DHT, a little bit testosterone, and help to modulate your estrogen levels. It's quite good. So it might have a lot of other benefits that you might not have known about. All right, guys, short video. Hope this was helpful. I'll check you in the next one. Cheers, guys.